Hello everybody, welcome, <coughs> excuse me, welcome to part three of our Boolean tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to look at how I made this using Booleans. And I'm hoping to get it done in one video. Man, I really hope so. So let's go ahead and get things started. And let's add a cube. Let's turn on our wireframe. And then we're, I'm going to shift click a cylinder. Okay. I'm going to shrink my cylinder down by hitting the R tool. And I'm going to stretch it out like so I want to make sure it covers the whole cube from top to bottom goes completely through as you can see here so now I'm going to spin this thing 90 degrees okay so let's go ahead and spin it well I'll just type it in 90 in the X hit the W key and let's move it up here and let's get this puppy into position. Okay. There we go. Now let's pick our top mesh. Notice our cylinder is in the background mesh. Mesh edit. Boolean. Subtract. And let's get rid of our cylinder. Okay, so now here we go. We hit the tab key. Yowzers. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and start with the obvious, which is connecting these inner edges here. So let's hit the C key, activate our edge slice, and I'm going to go through here like this and run some edge slices. I'm going to try and keep my mouth shut most of the time and just work because, as you can see, this is going to be quite a tedious process to slice this up because there are quite a bit of edges here that we're going to have to run and connect. You know, I'm just, to be honest, I'm just a hobbyist. Occasionally I might use it in my professional life, but very, very rarely do I use a 3D app in my pro life, professional life. Okay, now we've run those, so let's go ahead and run them on around like this. Okay. As I said, fairly arduous. Like that. Now, as you can see, they are not what you want to call real straight. <laughs> but, you know, that's not a big deal because we can fix all this in a second. If you want, if it makes you feel better to fix them right now, you can. Just use your vert tool and W. And just straighten them up to your heart's content. But I usually like to do all that kind of after I have my initial cuts laid down. Okay. Okay, now let's go on over to this side and let's start here. With our C key, do the same thing. Shift, now remember, I run a line here, now I want to start a new line. I'm going to hold my shift and click to start a new one. So we're trying to line these up here to be fairly consistent with one another. Of course, they're not going to be real consistent with one another because you can see how crooked they are. But that's not really the issue that I'm concerned with at the moment. Missed one here, didn't we? Now you can see what we're doing here. Now you can see our polygon flow coming into shape. And our last one here, well not our last one, but our last one on this set. Okay, there we go. Now as you can see, our polygons are flowing pretty nicely. So now we're going to have to work on these edges because when I hit the tab key, the edges fold up. So let's go back with our C key, our edge slice, and let's split right in the middle here. Like that. I'm going to split right in the middle all the way down this, like this. I have split in the middle checked over there in my tool options. Now I'm going to uncheck it and run it right up to this middle vert like that. Now let's go ahead and start up here. Right there I'm going to run one from here to here like so. Now I'm going to go all the way around with it. So 
adjust these a little bit here just to make them a little more even now we're still keeping all quads as you can see our flow there let's go ahead and do this side I wish I had the gift of gab that way I could talk to you guys while I'd always have something to say while doing this kind of work okay now there's that so now let's go ahead and work on these others let's go ahead and hit shift and let's lay one in here I'm gonna hit split at the middle I'm gonna click down here on this bottom one and there we go I wanna uncheck split at the middle start a new one here and take this one right to the corner start a new one you can see the pattern split in the middle now we're gonna do this side And there we go now unfortunately we have to do the same thing for this side so I'm gonna keep my trap shut and go through here real quickly I'm doing this so much that you'll see me do it so much that I'd say you'll probably get it because this is just really really repetitive and our last one okay you guessed it now we have to join these up so let's do this real fast it's gonna be sloppy but that's not an issue we can clean up our geometry when we get done running our cuts I know I know it looks like the top of an ocean it's so wavy but don't worry we'll be fine do this side now You'll notice our polygon flow is staying intact okay now let's go control space to our front view let's hit shift C and let's run a loop slice right through here like this like so let's run a loop slice right through here like this and a loop slice right through here like this go back to perspective now it's time to join some points okay let's go to vert mode let's join those two right there and let's join those two go to edge mode remove that edge let's go over here and do this point mode or vert mode join those two join those two edge remove it let's go on around go back to point mode and remove it okay hit our tab key you can see we're starting to hold a little bit okay so let's go in here and see what we got going on looks to me like we have over here in our info and statistics we have four ingons so let's see where those are and they're right there you know why we can fix those with our C key let's hit our C key do our edge slice and let's go all the way down until we match on this other side like so and let's do this last one and boom okay let's hit our tab key go back to polygon mode and see what we got going on here we still need to tighten up some edges so let's do this. Let's hit the C key. Let's start right here. Like this. And let's just go around this way. Now we're going to come around. Like so. Now we'll go around this way and now can you see how we're where we're headed you see it connects up really nicely okay hit our tab key and there we go we're holding our edge really nice let's see here what we can look at our properties here and up our subdivision level just a couple times and there we go and also if you want to you can come in here 
and select these edges like this. All those top edges selected, you hit the B key to bevel. You could bevel it in to make your corners a little tighter. If you go to your lists, info and statistics. Now we've got a tight edge and we got all quads as you can see nothing in our scene but 480 quads so I hope you've learned something on this third lesson in our blue wings tutorial series and I look forward in the next look forward to helping you in the next video happy modeling